power of printing, uh, there's this large gap that I'm not quite sure how it's supposed to, to overcome. Uh, I did not provide any um, support material in the settings. So this ought to be interesting to see a transition from a large open space to um, connect that space from the other side of the, uh, of the frame. Uh, actually, that, that worked out okay over there, but that's not quite as long and it's not perfect. So, that looks like an interesting little... Oh, well maybe, well, we'll see. I have a feeling we're getting close to that transition. Following layers look a little bit, well, to be quite honest, that doesn't look that great. So, I'm gonna just wait and check this out because you know, it could be a, a good hour of wasted time for us to be on an Oh, holy crap! Oh my gosh, it actually made part of it. Oh man, this is exciting. Okay, let's, let's see how this works. Come on baby, do it. So it's got one strand that's supported. Maybe we can use that. Oh. Man, I just don't think it's gonna make it all the way. It's got that one little strand right there. Oh, check that out! Oh my gosh. It's gonna be a little bit off, but that's... <laughs> that's pretty impressive. Okay. Next time I still need to create some uh, support uh, material as far as the settings, but at least in this case I may have survived. So uh, solid doodle press, uh, definitely a, a solid star on that one, and that's sweet. Alright, I will uh, follow up on the progress. The top quarter of an inch just it just all seemed to have shifted over and I'm not quite sure why or even how that happened um, but here's the uh, that fairly long crossover that it was able to to uh, complete which I find incredible with very little drooping except for a couple strands that didn't quite make it 